What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle, and it's late at night, so if my energy doesn't seem quite as high, just giving you the disclaimer, if you enjoy it, if you want some pack luck, you want the gods to come out and deliver, FIFA gods, where are you at? Drop a thumbs up, it's free to subscribe on the channel. We're doing this all live on stream. And we finished, I think, 23 and something. I, I didn't finish my games. Uh, I got the 23 done, and I was just like, leave me alone. I don't want the sweat. I, I don't want the mess. I'll show you the team. I didn't have any changes. We really didn't make any profit uh, from the previous week. So without that profit, without some pack luck, it wasn't good packs. I'll, I'll say that. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a good packs. If you want to see it, I'll show you it. But... Wasn't the best, um, but uh, let me show you the team. Just in case you're brand new to the channel, I'm happy to have you. On screen, you see the squad, 4-3-3. Three, three. We're actually going to play 4-4-2 four, four, in game, and I'm debating. I do want to experiment with some trial and error, but I am debating going back to the classic 4-2-3-1, which I haven't really played too much since the game really came out, this year's installment at least. But it's a formation I'm very familiar with. So I've been running uh, Neymar and Mbappe up front. They scored the majority of goals, set up the assists. Just everything that is involved with my offensive attack really runs through my main two weapons. That, that green link. I'm still not playing on drop back. I don't know if I'm being stubborn. So I'm balanced and balanced and just trying to get bodies forward. I enjoyed Carlos Alberto. Semedo is the real deal if you haven't used them yet. Virgil, Cancelo, no surprises. Conte and Suzoko will be my holding mids. Today, I feel like I'm going to pack Suzoko or I'm going to pack Dembele. So that should give me a little bit of coins in the bank and we'll have that trade-in uh, value. So that, that at least that's what I'm saying. I'm putting that energy out there. Some of the other ones, I don't know if I can believe in it. Uh, and this team of the week, if you haven't seen it, wait. I've got you covered. It's not a good team of the week. It's kind of an all or nothing. There's a few high rated items, but they're just not guys that you would put into the starting 11. You want the tiers, and I hope that celebration doesn't make it to FIFA because I might not have tiers, but I'm going to break something if somebody starts crying at me when I'm losing a game in the 90th minute. But it's all about Mbappe. 90 overall, the real deal. Holy field. Not going to be a letdown. Scores goals consistently. Has the pace. Uh, has the skill moves. Really every attribute you could ask for in, in FIFA. This is going to be your guy. Fabinho wouldn't be a bad secondary pickup. I'd probably take Bellarabi or Saul. Uh, at least in this team of the week. But it's, it's not a good one. There's not a ton of value there. Not a ton in ratings. Not a ton in usability. You are really all in or all out with this team of the week. But we do have a lot of packs. We have the Rivals rewards. And we also have the uh, the Weekend League rewards. Which, like, like I said, included uh, Elite 3. Didn't knock out the games. But I have a feeling we're going to be opening 12 to 15 packs right now. Something's got to kill. If you haven't seen this windbreaker, I'm just acknowledging it. Some of y'all... Wouldn't wear it in person. This is like when I tweet out. I tweet out a jumper like this. Or I put a picture and people say, no, absolutely not. Because you're only going to wear black and you're only going to wear white. Going to keep it very, very simple. We're going to have a little bit of some swag today. Swish washing everywhere. It's going to be my lucky jumper too if we deliver this Mbappe. Three player picks. I don't know if these are going to be lucky or not, but I'm feeling some luck today. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some luck. Come on. Player pick numero uno. We got nothing. We really got nothing here. I'll take Perez. How does Jamie Vardy not get an inform, by the way? Hat trick. No inform. Perez, I, I get it. I, I understand. Man also scoring goals, but why not give them both what they deserve? They scored a lot of goals. It wasn't just a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna keep this in the Premier League. Heading to Leicester City. Let's go. Player pick two. Slightly improved. We do have pool sitch and this item looks usable man Now I'm not gonna say he's gonna be top tier if you saw my tiers of where I've ranked a lot of these uh, foot items If not, it should be on screen uh, It'll give you an idea of where I think these guys kind of fall in terms of usability God tier Translates to being on the brink or, or being at a competitive level top tier for, for me personally means you could use them in the weekend league Pool sitch is not bad here uh, definitely looks like he, he'd be someone that's capable of uh, impacting a match uh, as, as a super sub. I don't, I don't think you're going to get anything else. You got to go with the 83 or the 84, I think. And Kulu, man, this guy used to be quick. Caucho, got to be the guy. Uh, as much as I want to take Pulisic, and Kulu it is. All right, 
So we've gone 82 to 84. So we're gonna see our big improvement here in the third player pick. Last but not least, we're going in the right direction. Mbappe, me, and then we'll call it even. That's not exactly what happened. We have Chilwell, which is interesting because I also have uh, Digna uh, as a left back already, Hernandez. I've had very gifted fullbacks, or well, left backs, to really say, for these player picks. We have Semedo that's starting. At the moment, we have untradeable left backs. Does that mean we get Pulisic? Is that what we're gonna do here? Does that mean we get Pulisic? Is that what we're gonna do here? I think just out of a, out of sheer appreciation, we're gonna get Pulisic. I think Chilwell makes more sense. Of course, has that uh, that English link. Both players in the Premier League. He would be easier, maybe more valuable for an SBC, but not today. We're going with my man Pulisic. Come on down. Those are the player picks. Let me know where you rate them. I'm giving myself a four out of 10 with the player picks. Might be even be giving myself too much credit. Okay, okay, okay. We have 12 packs. Remember, about half of these are untradeable. Took us some division rival gambles, but we're gonna go for it, man. I feel like we're gonna be able to pack a player that we would normally have in our starting 11 or as a super sub and therefore it turns into some sort of uh, value, a little trade in action. We're bringing back the GameStop movement. And uh, we're gonna get started with, of course, the lower odds packs. So this 12 gold, one rare, yeah, that'll be the one. No walkout, no panel, positivity, Valeri. Oh, that's, that's I think, a nice surprise. We also have the uh, a Champions League edition item. Apparently it stays as a non-rare. These, these items are always so weird for me. I remember last year them not really having any value or usability. I know EA's trying to shift that, but side note, if you hear construction, it's 4 a.m. and apparently that's when they do construction in New York City. All right, 11 packs. I like the, the odds. Let's do this. 79 overall, tough. Did I mention I could use some profit? Any profit, big profit major profit trying to make improvements ea oh my goodness and we get a non-rare suarez nothing to go home to talk to mom about about i guess what you packed nothing to go what's the saying nothing to go home to talk about nothing to go home and chat about nothing to go home and knock on the door about nope Nothing to go home, nothing to go home about? I don't know the saying, I'm trying my best. We got Luke Shaw, decent left back. We're gonna jump into the megas, hold the 100K. Make you sit on that, make you wait on that. Ah, let's revamp, let's revamp. Oh, this feels good. It's gonna be a panel. Oh, a Brazilian panel, central midfielder. We're heading to Barcelona. Arthur's not, not not too shabby. We'll take this. I don't know from a value standpoint off the top, but this is someone that could be useful. Also gets powerful links everywhere on the pitch. Powerful pitch links. Navas, Giroud, Corona. Okay. That was going in the right place. Panel. Now we just need a walkout. Colorful walkout. Still waiting on our first icon of the year. Speaking it into existence. It's not gonna happen in this pack. Is there an icon notifier? I don't think there is. Ooh, draft token, that's big. We'll take that. It's a small victory, son. Got a draft token in that pack. I play the draft. I like the draft when I'm not angry. Mmm. Tasty. Ah, there it is! I called it! I called it, yes! Oh, I hope there's a rewind. Today, I feel like I'm gonna pack Suzuko or I'm gonna pack Dembele. Achievement unlocked. I told you, I told, told you. We're, we're putting somebody on the market for an untradeable coming in that is at least currently in the starting 11. Perfect. Flip flop. Well, it's not gonna be Dembele in this pack. Goalkeeper, Perrine. Rocking that I haven't had a haircut in six months look. I'm not mad at him. A little bit of a dirty scruffle. I don't really have room to talk with what I grow. Center back. Bye. In a different FIFA, at a different time period, this would have had value. This would have been a good pickup. We would have celebrated this. I would have cheers you. I'm still gonna take them. I'll still take them, but it just doesn't mean the same. It doesn't hold the same amount of weight. The packs are dwindling. Our final mega pack, then we have the 100K pack, and then the premium team of the week pack, which I'm hoping for some 
some luck this time around. I feel like my player picks weren't up to a certain standard, so maybe it's gonna flip flop this time. We did some uh, sacrificial packs. We gave those away, or sacrificial player picks in exchange for team of the week pack luck. It's gonna be a panel. French center mid, Bayern Munich, Liso. Very balanced statistics. Now the first owner. Looks like he has lovely skin in his uh his five statistical categories that are damn near an 80. Decent. 24 items. All players, all gold, all rare. I need that walkout right now. It's gonna be a panel, not a walkout. 84 overall, I believe. Ah, that hurts. Because that just tells you you're not going to profit from this pack. You're not going to have major coin flow coming into your, your back pocket. You're not making progress. You're kind of sitting still. It's been a slow grind. You know? 24 items and only one panel in the entire pack. Wow. I'm going to hold on to these players just in case there's something that happens with... Requirements, objectives, SBC situations, marquee match. I, I don't know. Something could happen here. Last but not least, oh, premium. Come on, premium team of the week pack. You can make it all right. Just give me a French. Give me, give me a walkout in French. That, that's all I'm asking for. Moment of truth. It's not a walkout. Not a walkout. All these packs. It's like three weeks in a row, man. Back to Leicester City. 82 overall. We're going to have discard on discard on discard. If you enjoyed it, tell me something. Rate my pack luck. It ain't good. This overall is a low, man. I said player picks when I say four out of ten. Opening all those packs between the mega packs and uh, 100K and the team of the week. Yo, it can't be better than like a two and a half, dog. I think I got like a 2.5 out of 10. We got no walkouts. Unhappy. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Subscribe. It is free. Clearly not making anything on the packs. Clearly.